Playing the game the beautiful way, tiki taka passing, intelligent movement, and total control of the pitch. Do you want to learn how to play like Pep Guardiola's Barcelona in FIFA? Well, today I'm going to teach you how. Hey, what's going on guys? Respect to Jeff here with a tactical breakdown of Barcelona 2008-2009 and how to play like them in FIFA. First up, uh, what kind of style of play is this? Well, it's fully based off of possession, down to the high pressure, trying to win the ball back and retaining the ball when you have it. Uh, Free-flowing movement is best in this kind of formation. Uh, what kind of players you want for this system are highly technical, uh, good passers of the ball and someone to hold down that false nine position. Obviously, uh, big ask to live up to Messi in that role, uh, but that's the kind of Player you are looking for to facilitate the attack. Uh, right off the bat, let's get down to the formation and how you set this side up. You want to select the 4-3-3 with the false 9 option that will be the messy role and a player who can facilitate that. Obviously, it was a huge tactical breakthrough uh, when Guardiola first uh, debuted that with Messi in the role uh, and Barcelona were running rampant worldwide at that point. Starting with the defense, you want to set the team to press after possession loss. This is crucial to the way Pep sides play. They absolutely can't stand being without the ball so you want it back as quick as you lose it. Uh, Widths should be set to five, pretty neutral. And in terms of depth, you want to crank that up to eight to press really high up the pitch. And now let's talk offense. I mean, obviously all of Barcelona's play revolves around this, keeping the ball, moving the ball around. Uh, and obviously you are going to want to set the offensive style to possession. If there was any team that this applies to the most in FIFA, it's probably got to be Barcelona. So if you're looking to set your team up in career mode or even online to play like this, uh, possession is going to be the way to do it. Uh, you want to set the width to fairly narrow Arrow, but not overboard. Uh, you want to put that to four. And in terms of players in the box, crank it back to three. Uh, it's not a trademark of the way Barcelona plays. You're not looking for crosses into the box. Uh, sure, there might be some from time to time, but it's a little more focused around players uh, up at the top working through those clever through balls. Uh, in terms of players on set pieces as well, you can put both of those down to two, a little more conservative, and you are going to be looking to play shorter options uh, or just go directly for goal off of a free kick in those situations instead. Um, and now is where things get interesting. We go to the instructions. Uh, and this is going to be really key uh, to getting this team to play the way that Pep set it up. Um, so let's start with the false nine up top. Messi is absolutely crucial, or this Messi position at least, in this formation, whoever you have set up uh, in your own career. So this actually may seem a little counterintuitive, but on support runs, you want to set this player to drift wide. Now the reason for this is the whole crux of offense in this formation uh, is to get those wide players involved in cutting into the box. So you're going to want that player in the middle playing as a false nine to drift wide when they cut in and keep things flowing offensively. You're also going to want to set attacking runs to false nine, which obviously makes sense uh, given the false nine position up top, uh, but you are just going to want to make sure that you get that so that player will drop deep uh, and be able to contribute on offense. You can also set this player to stay forward. Uh, Messi was always the one player exempt from the high press uh, and allowed to maintain his stamina. You can obviously tailor this uh, towards your style specifically, but the way Barcelona played, uh, that is what we want to mimic here. In terms of chance creation, like I mentioned, both of our wide wingers are going to be set to cut inside off of chance creation and are actually going to be your biggest threats in on goal, acting like strikers coming in from the wing, taking on fullbacks and having a crack at goal. Uh, in terms of support runs, you're actually just going to leave this unbalanced. Uh, this will give them the option to come short when you're in possession, uh, cut inside, run, run down the wing and get in behind uh, or any number of those settings uh, that fall under that bucket. Uh, so you definitely want a good mix of it. Um, in terms of support for crosses, your wingers are actually going to be the ones getting into the box and getting on the receiving end. Uh, mostly low balls in there. Won't be a lot of crossing in this formation. Uh, but just so you do have some of those players making those runs. The false nine is going to be dropping a little deeper or honestly making runs out to the wing when it calls for it. Um, so like I said, it's going to be a fluid front three. So now they're good to go and we get to the midfield three. Uh, and this is absolutely crucial if you want to play the way uh, that peak Barcelona did back in 2008, 2009. Uh, first up, it's that Iniesta role. So this central midfielder is actually going to get a little bit forward, uh, maybe not necessarily into the box, uh, but you do want them getting forward to play a creative role. You set them to free roam, uh, cover the wing on defense, uh, as well as stay on the edge of the box for crosses. This isn't a player that's going to be getting forward uh, and heading balls in or anything like that. Um, you could even leave them balanced. Um, in terms of the other midfielder, the Chavi role, it's a little more of a connection between midfield and your forwards. Uh, so this is going to be set to stick uh, to position as well as cover the center of the pitch. So not too much running end to end or anything like that. Uh, this will be the option you always have available to just control things in the center of the pitch and play some clever balls, either one twos with the other midfielders or split the lines to get the ball forwards. Um, now the Yaya Toure role is the more defensive one in this center three. 
Now this is not only a player who's going to work really hard defensively to win the ball back, uh, but just kind of control the tempo of the game. Again, that's kind of the running theme of this uh, center three in Barcelona teams, uh, but you're looking for someone who can kind of link up the defense with the midfield or attack. So for most of these, you can actually just leave them to their defaults, with the exception of defensive position, you're going to want to set to cover center uh, to keep all of your midfielders together and really keep things consolidated for when you do win back possession. Um, now, if starting with the back line, Abidal out on the left-hand side, you're going to want to set him to overlap. Uh, like I said, our wingers will be cutting inside. That leaves uh, a chance for the fullbacks to overlap. You used to see a lot of that from these old Barcelona teams. Uh, Abidal uh, won't necessarily join the attack a ton, but on the flip side, you want the player in that Dani Alves role to join the attack as much as possible. Uh, this player will also be set to overlap, but you're going to be looking to exploit this out on the right-hand side. Obviously, he's well known uh, for having linked up with Messi tons and tons uh, during their time together at Barcelona, uh, so you're going to be looking for a player who can do similar with your system. Um, now, when it comes to the center backs, you can actually do something unique here. Uh, you see a lot from this uh, in Barcelona sides over the years, especially with PK uh, coming up as a striker late in games. Uh, if you're chasing the game, so you can set to play as striker here, uh, that will automatically Automatically, uh, the game dictates if you're losing with a couple minutes left, you're going to send your center back up to sort of be a target man in the box, <laughs> and with not a lot of other big men for Barcelona to target, that will come in handy. In terms of the goalkeeper, again, Victor Valdez, uh, fine player, nothing in particular was special about his goalkeeping style, though, so you can just leave that balanced. So, there you have it guys, that's how you build the Barcelona team, but now it's time to see them in action. I've cut together some gameplay uh, with some pointers on how to play as them, it's sort of a, uh, a tutorial on how to use the system of sorts. Uh, so without further ado, let's get straight to it. Alright, so you've set up the tactics, you've picked out the players to fit your system, but now the question remains, how do you play like Pep Guardiola's uh, Barcelona, uh, vintage Barcelona uh, in FIFA 21? Well, right off the bat, the name of the game is controlling the tempo with patient possession. Your goal threats, like I mentioned earlier, are going to be your wingers who cut inside to score, so between them and your false nine, balancing playmaking with goal scoring, your front three are the key to goals. So watch and wait for the runs of the wingers very carefully. Uh, the entire point of this system is you're waiting for these little openings by controlling the game, working the ball around in midfield, and just waiting for those little runs inside. The wrong way to play this formation is to try to rush things offensively, play tons of long through balls or crosses into the box. <laughs> You're not going to have a good time uh, setting this team up like that. Uh, what you really need to reinforce here is a calm tempo of the game. You have to prioritize possession. You can see here we win the ball back, nothing is quite on, so we just pull it back, control the game uh, if a clear chance isn't on. And it can be a little hard at times. I know you're going to want to force moves or play a long ball through, even if it's not 100% a clear-cut opportunity. Uh, but the name of the game for Barcelona is maintaining possession unless there is a really uh, clear opportunity through on goal. Uh, and they basically just try to walk the ball all the way to the end of the pitch. Um, you can see some really good examples of that here, working it around Messi, dropping deep as that false nine position, and just moving the ball around here. You're not going to rush any balls into the box if you don't spot something uh, that can really get a clean shot off. Uh, so you can see pushing up on defense here. It's Busquets uh, playing in that Yaya Toure role. <laughs> it's probably made his own. And Messi waits for the patient run. Jordi Alba puts a ball in and finally we finish off the move just like that. Uh, we had so many chances before to maybe try to force something or just have a shot from distance. Uh, but when you really move things around and wait for the openings, they will come. I promise you just need to be patient. You also want to be cognizant of the transition from defense to attack. You can see here there's a couple half chances that open up. De Jong picks the ball up. He does have an option to the right of him, uh, but he is just offside. So we pull the play back rather than try to force it down the left, maintain possession, uh, and eventually a chance will come from this move. Uh, playing it close between all three of our center mids works out brilliantly here. Coutinho playing in that Iniesta role, some good footwork, finds De Jong, flicks it through in the false nine. A uh, little bit of a bad touch there from Messi, but that's how you create opportunities. Clever little passes, you wait for the runs, uh, they will make those runs uh, eventually in this system. Uh, and also that false nine, it's really important to emphasize here that they can be the playmaker. So you see there Messi dropping deep, playing the ball over the top, it doesn't quite come off. He's looking for that run inside from the winger. Uh, but like I said several times at this point, your wingers are going to be cutting in from outside to in. They'll be making runs into the box. You just have to be aware of that. Uh, find them at the right time in their runs uh, and those chances will come for you. Jordi Alba now making the run out on the wing, and this is another chance uh, to really highlight the importance of this system. There's a crossing opportunity, maybe a little half chance there. Instead, we work it on the inside, a clever little one-two with the winger and striker. We win a free kick, uh, and probably not out 
out of 10 times, Messi converts that chance. I'm not sure exactly who you're going to have playing in your system uh, if you're using this, but uh, if you have a player half of his caliber, those kind of chances uh, are absolutely priceless. Especially off of corner kicks too, you're going to want to take them short. You can see here, uh, even just playing the ball short and opening up a little bit of space was enough to get a smart pass off. Uh, now, like I've been saying, you want to prioritize possession if there isn't an opportunity on, but in a case like this, you can see Busquets is left wide open, no men on him. Uh, and in this kind of case, you can cross. It's not that you never should with Barcelona. It's that you should very sparingly, only if uh, there is a real clear chance to make an opportunity from it. Now, I want to also highlight pressing after you lose possession is also key here. You have to be very aggressive on defense. If you lose the ball, close down with the first man, hold the second man, press button, do whatever you can to just get it back uh, within a couple seconds of losing it. You can see here, you can convert that to an immediate chance on goal, especially against teams that are willing to give possession up uh, high up the pitch or, or risking it at least. Um, and in this case, it does pay off for us. You can play a through ball. Uh, and just like this, there are chances to play a little faster with Barcelona. You get the winger involved in the play. He cuts inside, he scores a goal. Uh, and those are the kind of chances that you'll thrive off of. Now, something to also be aware of uh, is to be very careful about losing possession. Sometimes there's nothing you can do, but the high press is going to leave you exposed a lot of the times. You have to be careful with 1v1 defending, and honestly, having quick defenders can be a lifesaver for this formation. You don't want people who are going to be caught high up the pitch uh, with clever through balls. Uh, Counterattacks are the risk that you run playing this kind of game. Um, it's going to happen to you. You're probably going to concede goals to it, but there are some things you can do to mitigate the chances. Uh, calling your goalkeeper out to rush if they see they have a clear chance to get to the ball first. Uh, like I said, buying uh, quick enough defenders. You can see in this situation, there's a ball converted over the top, uh, but fortunately PK is able to get there first. It could have been a good opportunity. Another thing that you absolutely need to get comfortable with is playing out from the back. This is another one of those risky sort of moves that just comes along with the territory of this formation. You're probably going to lose possession to it. You're probably going to concede goals to it, but the better you get uh, and the better players you get playing this kind of system, playing out from the back, uh, the more you're going to enjoy it going forwards. You can see here the transition, uh, some really clever link up play again from the team. This is the way Barcelona loves to play. Fantastic move front to back. And just like that, uh, Coutinho playing that Iniesta role gets through on goal. It is blocked in the end, but it is a good chance nonetheless. Uh, another thing to focus on is converting your press into counterattacks. Now, generally, you want slow build-up play, but like I've been saying, uh, you got to take that with a grain of salt. If the play is on, you can get forwards and use the space to your advantage. You can see here, you want to focus on that Danny Alves right back position. They'll be making the overlap and can link up really well with your false nine. Uh, you can see that illustrated perfectly here. Got all the way up the wing, and rather than just crossing the ball into the box and hoping for the best, cut it back. Uh, just keep your eyes open for the runs, and in this case, Messi happened to be wide open. There's also going to be examples if you can just win the ball back really high up the pitch. You can even just have a direct shot at goal. Uh, it was really poor from their defense to give it away, but uh, you're going to get chances like that as well. So kind of high risk, high reward. You're going to have some of those go against you on the counterattack, but you're going to be able to score some as well. Um, so there you have it, guys. That is how you play like peak Barcelona in FIFA. This is actually pretty similar to the way that I like to play a lot of my careers. <laughs> so uh, I am pretty familiar with the system. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Obviously, just to reiterate, the style of play here is possession-based, free-flowing. Uh, it's playing the game the quote-unquote beautiful way. Um, so let me know if you guys uh, use this to any uh, kind of success. I'd love to hear uh, any feedback that you guys have on the system. If you have anything else to add, uh, I'll be sure to get active in the comments. Uh, we can have some dialogues about it. In the meantime, if you guys are interested in contributing to some of this, uh, I'm using my coaching staff in the Discord chat that we have. You can go to patreon.com slash respectthejeff to get active and start getting involved in this kind of stuff. So as the community grows, I hope to see you become a part of it. If not, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or the rest of my series, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Helps me out a ton and I'll continue to put out cool content like this. Also, let me know in the comments if there are any teams that you would like to see me cover and I'll do an in-depth analysis uh, on the most upvoted ones. So I'll be back soon with another episode. But until then, I'm Respect the Jeff and I'll see you next time.